I am sure all of you have heard this advice from toppers, from seniors that start writing test series as early as possible. Start topic wise test from the month of April or May and full length test from the months of October or November, right? Or ha, this advice is absolutely correct and many toppers do this, but still the truth is that majority aspirants start test series very late. And you know what happens when you start test series late? You have to pick what test you have to write and what test you have to skip. So what students do, they skip topic test, they skip subject test and they jump directly to full length test. This causes two types of problems. The first problem is that you miss out on many high quality conceptual questions which are there in topic and subject test. Look, subject test and topic test the percentage of, uh, you know, uh, quality conceptual questions are higher in topic and subject test as compared to full length test. Why? Because your full length test has to be a balanced test. It has to be like gate, right? So gate will have some percentage of super high quality conceptual question, but that percentage would be 10, 15, 20, 25%, right? You cannot have 90% super high conceptual questions in full length test. Otherwise, no one is... Uh, no one will be able to score more than 20-30 marks. So FLTs need to be balanced. They should be similar to GATE. But topic and subject tests are there to give you high quality conceptual question. But because you miss upon those tests, you jumped directly to full length test. You have also missed upon so many good conceptual learnings which were there in those tests. The second problem is related to the time. Because you did not practice question in a timer based scenario because before this you maybe solved TSP, you solved question bank but you did not solve many questions with a timer which is there in subject test, which is there in topic test. So now you have to jump directly to FLT, 3 hour timer which becomes a big hurdle for many students. So what They start avoiding it, they start fearing from it and they are not able to properly start these tests. But then they start fearing from these tests. Timer may panic karne lagte. So the change is not gradual. You did not start from 30 minute, 45 minute ka koi topic test or subject test, but you directly jumped to a two or three hour test. So that is another problem which students face when they all together skip topic wise and subject tests. Now let us talk about the solution. Kya solution is problem ka? Let me tell you with some very useful and practical tips. In the initial weeks, when you start writing your full length test, the frequency of full length test is lesser. In a week, maybe you will write just one, maybe in two weeks you write one. But slowly, slowly as gate comes near, your frequency keeps on increasing. Maybe in a week you will start writing two or three or even four full length tests. So when you are having slightly lesser frequency of full length test, when you have a gap of one, two, three days, between two full length tests, what you can do? You can attempt topic and subject tests in that duration. In fact, you can also solve some pending TSPs if you have not solved them. Yes, you may not be able to write all the topic and all the subject tests. That's true. But at least you will be able to attempt those topic or those subject tests in which you are weak. You can improve upon those topics. You can improve your conceptual knowledge from those questions. And how to decide which are your weak topics? That's the beauty of full length test. Full length test gives you questions from all across the syllabus. And after proper analyzing your gate, your test series attempt, your full length test attempt, you get a very clear idea of what subject, what topics I am weak in. So only those topics, topic test or those subjects, subject test, you can, uh, you know, attempt in the gap between full length tests. So it is solving two purpose. It is giving you two benefit. One benefit is that obviously you are learning more concepts through topic and subject test. And second benefit that it improves your performance in full length test because it completes your analysis. Analysis of a test does not only mean knowing your weakness, but it also means working upon your weakness. And how do you work on that? By revising that, by solving question on that topic. So it will also help you there. In fact, if you have completed subject and topic test also, then also it is recommended that between two full length tests, you can go through your previous attempts of subject test or topic test to refresh what you learned. 
to go back and check again what mistakes you made. So there are two benefits of this approach. And there is one very important announcement related to that, which is All India Mock Gate 2. The test window will start on 23rd of December and it will be open till midnight of 25th December. So you have the window of three days in which you can attempt this free test. As you know, All India Mock Gate 1 has been already conducted. It was very successful. The feedback that we got was very good. And the performances that you made, I'm sure you made the full utilization of the questions of video analysis and of the computer generated analysis. Again, you have this opportunity. Visit the website, register for the free test and make sure that you attempt it in the three day test window. I wish you all the best.